Illinois, a bill banning the manufacture and sale of assault weapons has advanced in the state legislature and could be on the governor's desk by next week. The action comes six months after a mass shooting in the Chicago suburb of Highland Park during the town's 4th of July parade. We get more from CBS's Charlie DeMar. How has your life changed in the last six months? The trauma is very deep and very real. Lauren Bennett was at the Highland Park Independence Day Parade with her family, like she is every year. We're going to go and help them evacuate. When the celebration was shattered by a particularly American problem. I jumped up to run. As I did that, I was hit in the back. I looked down. My whole left side was bleeding. She was shot twice, one of four dozen hit, when prosecutors say a 21-year-old armed with an AR-15 style rifle fired down on the crowd from a rooftop. And I was lucky because I got out of there alive, but one centimeter any direction and I wouldn't be here talking to you. 63-year-old Jackie Sundheim was one of the seven who did not survive. For me, it's just, there's just a massive hole. You know, holding my heart, holding my life. It's just that sheer impact of how many people knew her and that she touched. Her husband and daughter sat down for their first interview since her murder. I would hate for her memory to become something this. I don't want it to just be this. I want her joy and her laughter to be what people remember. As a society, we have to find a place where Someone can't just wake up in the morning and decide, I want to go out and shoot 50 strangers. Within days of the mass shooting, a new movement began for a federal ban on assault rifles led by those closest to the trauma. Which has always been a place of safety. Like Lauren Bennett, who appeared at a hearing with state lawmakers. You have to ask yourself, why do our laws permit somebody to be able to shoot 83 rounds in under a minute? And Highland Park Mayor Nancy Rodering, who testified before Congress. We as a nation need to stop talking about our gun culture and talk about our human rights, our right to live free from fear of violence. Why has it been important for you to use your voice? I'm hoping that another parade isn't the site of a mass shooting or anywhere. A community still recovering speaking for the seven lives taken and finding a collective voice for change. Charlie DeMar, CBS News, Highland Park, Illinois.